four AFL Hall of Fame legends and a multitude of memorable moments. 2014 Tasmania have eclipsed Victoria. 14-17. But still no movement on a team for Tasmania, almost 12 months since the government appointed task force handed down its business case for a licence. There's a very good plan that I've, that I've spoken about, it's there and available for them. They need to pick it up and take the running now to provide some direction for football in Tasmania. The task force is frustrated. It wants Tasmania to turn its back on the AFL unless League HQ can guarantee a post-COVID pathway to a team. You can't look at a future in AFL and not have Tasmania as part of that future. The government is not quite as gung-ho as its task force, at least not publicly yet. I'm going to leave the tactics on that to the Premier. He's shown to be a very, very strong leader for our push for a, a Tasmanian team. Former Labor Premier David Bartlett was pushing for an AFL team as far back as 2008, but says there's now a bigger game in town. He wants the state to think globally. The opportunities for a future NBL team to be playing in New York and Los Angeles in the NBL NBA preseason opens up massive opportunities for Tasmania. If Tasmania is truly ready to turn its back on the Indigenous game in favour of more international flavours, the state sports minister might need to brush up. Football fans across the world today are actually in mourning with the passing of, of one of the world's greatest football players, Diego Morando, who passed away at the age of 60. <laughs> An own goal by any stretch from Jane Howlett, Chris Rowbottom, ABC News.